Hello again, Herd. We are the Herdsman. I am Mark. I'm Grant. And we're back with another food review today. We're stepping aside a little bit. Now, first of all, notice that the camera, once again, our, we cannot figure out how to, our camera is broken. For some reason, our, our uh, what is it, a Nikon 5-5200? I've never paid attention to D this. DSLR. Mom knows that... Mom know. knows the technical term. Well, it's a Nikon DLSR 5200, so if you have any expertise with that, tell me why it will not focus, okay? Put in the comments why it won't focus. Uh, anyway, today we're stepping away from our traditional uh, review of fast food to review these fine uh, items here. These are, go ahead and say it. I really hope I do not sound racist saying this. Cacajotes. Peanuts. <laughs> oh. Brand name is Sabritas Estilo Japones, Japanese style. So, no, wait, wait, wait. So it's what I'm assuming is a Mexican snack, and that's it's doing kind a of, Japanese style. Yeah. So we are Americans eating a Mexican imitation of a Japanese food. Yeah. Now. I don't know what makes something Japanese style because when we poured them out, they look sort of like regular peanuts, they look but they like look like they're nuts. covered by something else. So I'm going to show you a couple of these. Okay, here's one that is just full, like looks like a peanut. But if you look closer, look like that one. Okay, you can see it. it's not in a shell. Okay, so anyway, these are made in um, these are made in Plano, Texas, by Frito Lay. <laughs> <laughs> so it's an American manufactured Mexican snack and done in a Japanese style. That's, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I know. That's and, like a cover band of a cover band of a cover band. <laughs> well, let me just read a little something from the back. So, go ahead and try these while I'm reading this. Saboras uh, autenticos con la calidad y tradición de sabritas. Chile y limón unum. botona <laughs> mexicana sal y limón so if you know what that means let us know in the comments below all right what are we doing here it tastes it tastes like something i taste in chocolate so it's a it's a not a very japanese and if i'm doing the right the wrong accent i apologize if if you're doing it sounds very japanese <laughs> Yeah, I'm terrible with transitioning into accents. You know what I? that sounded like? This sounded like Steve Martin in <laughs> Pink Panther doing a Japanese accent. <clears throat> All right, so these are peanuts. I would like to buy a hamburger. Hamburger. Okay, hamburger. These are these are peanuts. I I can't tell what the shell is though. What what's the? Hmm. They're they're kind of like honey roasted peanuts. Yeah. But the honey roasted part is not honey. Well, it's like deep fried. It's like deep fried onto this. Hmm. So you have this little shell left afterward. A little bit of heat to them. Yeah. I not like, much. And I like that heat. Yeah. Hmm. hmm. I do like these. What a strange and interesting peanut. <laughs> and there is our movie reference for the day. Let us know what movie that was from. Give you give you a hint from the eighties. Starred Rick Moranis. Okay. Yeah, all two of his films from back then. All right, all right. So these are peanuts that are wrapped in their Japanese style Mexican. I don't understand. Wow, I'm still getting the heat from this. Yeah, but I don't understand it. Why we have to call these Japanese style if they're made by uh, if, they're, American if, they're, made. if they're Latin American made, Spanish, Mexican. Sorry, I'm offending somebody. I'm sure. Why are we Why are we calling it Japanese style and not Mexican style? I don't know. Finally, I got right accent. What is that? Japanese. Oh, that's Japanese. Let them know if that's Japanese or not. All right. Oh, so. yes, it is. It's, at least it, it, <laughs> it's the stereotype. I've, I've gotten the right <laughs> continent stereotype. Okay, let me do a stereotype. Aso. Aso. Please don't take us off the air, YouTube. <laughs> All right. Let's give it some cows. Um, Because I thought this was going to be pedestrian, I, I'm going to go three. I'm going three cows as well. Um, 
I'm, Sorry, we're still not used to this yeah. camera. I, I am I am pleasantly surprised by these. Um, they have a little bit of heat to them. I, I think the Japanese style, they may be saying that they are a little wasabi type, you know, like okay, wasabi peas. Okay. They don't look like that. They look like regular peanuts that just have a little bit of a shell of some kind. But um, they're pretty good. I really like them. I did too. I did too. So is I did too. I already you already said that. I mean, you. I agreed with myself now. Anyway, uh, that is all from us today. Uh, thank you so much for subscribing and watching and sharing and all those things. We really appreciate it. We love the fact that we're growing. We are at 840. Four subscribers at the uh, taping of this show. So uh, let's get up there to the 900,000. You know, uh, we got on the thousand one, we're going to do a neat a neat challenge. I've already decided what we're doing for the thousand. What is it, man? D dang it, man. I'm a, they're not a. Yeah, we, I didn't have a fully formed reference there. We're, <laughs> we're going to eat something very unique. For our thousandth subscriber special episode. So, mm -hmm. that is all from us today. Thanks for watching. And as always, don't be afraid to join, join the, the herd. herd. Ya yeah, herd! herd.